Hey guys, Caliber here with that video that we met come out on Wednesday, but never quite came out because I'm a bit slow. And, uh, and yeah, here's my new hood, the Toons hood one that I said I was working on. And uh, I don't like the orange, so probably going to change that. But yeah, so today we're going through my loadouts. Um, something I've done for the last two years, I think. It's just a, a short, well, I try and make it as short as I can video showing the TF2 loadouts I use typically. Um, so yeah, starting out with the Scout. I don't actually do the whole a b c and d i don't have a key bound to change them so usually i just quickly change them out it's basically the same thing because my cosmetic loadout at the time doesn't matter too much to me like it does other people that are die hard fans of it all so yeah this is my main scout loadout my ever so famous scatter gun that is very expensive and then went really cheap Pretty boys pocket pistol even though it got nerfed i still really like it i just wish the clip size thing wasn't as bad and uh, the Boston Basher, because um, it's really the only melee I use other than the Pam. Here's my um, experimental loadout. I've been using the Babyface Blaster trying to get into it. I still quite quite can't get into it. It's a whole um, boost reduce when hit thing that don't work for me. Uh, my Kappa, which I still need to get a professional kill streak for. And the free rune blade, because I have a kind of ninja look about me here. Here's my kind of delinquent kind of thing where I got my bat, got my kappa and I got the force of nature which is very circumstantial. I think the force of nature is best used when you're fighting a team that's less experienced but all in all the, the scattergun is definitely better. And deep we got the shortstop, the man milk and the fan of war. Obviously this is a very team AD kind of um, look that I go for, well I got a kind of wintry look here but this is kind of like team assistance, you know health, mini crits, blah blah blah. I, all all relatively the same and uh, my taunts are the same all the way throughout for the scout I don't change them up I have the high five the bat and a thousand direct vision genuine shed shred alert um, I won't read the name of that because it's inappropriate but I never bought it um, the chest burster thingamajig yeah what's it called yeah burst chester and the short and forward. Yeah, we'll go back to A so I don't enter again with a weird loadout. My soldier is my main soldier loadout I've been using. This for ages, really. I have 4,000 kills on here, but I have... Uh, where's my original gun? There it is, with another almost 3,000 on the original. So I've got about got about 7,000 kills in total with rocket launchers that attract. Need to transfer them if they do. Um, the concierge, because I've been playing pubs, so there's been no medics there for me. And the house of toys, because... Not tooting my own horn, but with that, I don't really find myself retreating as heavily as I would using the escape plan. I, I always end up dying. So I thought, ah, well, if I'm going to go out, I'm going to go out with a, a sword. <laughs> uh, I have my kind of Korean been kidnapped kind of look, my black box. This is actually something I tried because of Uncle Dane using the battalions back up with the black box. It absolutely rolls teams. It's unreal how useful it is. And I only have the escape plan because, you know, got to dig out a Korea. My direct hit loadout, which I always thought was a bit funny. I don't know why, just a tiny joke here. Having the direct hit, which takes utmost accuracy, and having one less eye. Specifically being the eye that you're most likely going to be... Um, wait, it isn't, would it be that eye? Because you're looking for the side. But you know what I mean. And uh, the concierge for team assist. I don't really... I, I don't use the buff banner with the concierge. I don't like it. And the whip, because it's probably the only useful one. My unusual loadout, because I don't have my unusual and anything else that's the beggars with the conch um i only have that because you take a lot of damage using the beggars typically if i have a medic i'll swap that out for my buff banner but um that's what i'm running with my soldier papaya wrote this is my current favorite loadout i absolutely love it it's been killer i'll probably change that out for a flare gun eventually but so far for getting closer to the enemy with this this has been the easiest option and uh, i just have a bit of a silly loadout for that one, nothing too far out. Got kind of a punk look going here. Uh, she might kind of just stock with a slight enhancement and better skins. Um, vintage Merryweather, Foster's Facade, the suit, the, the suit suit, and that's my. Um, I'm not taking this game seriously. Kind of loadout, which is uh, is good. And this is my this is my I I hate this game kind of loadout. You know, running flog, and the scorch shot. Oh, and of course, I didn't show my taunts for the other one. What am I playing at? Uh, the only extra taunt I have here is the pool party and the party trick. 
and we'll go back and have a look. What well, I I have some extras for the soldier. I have the freshly brewed victory for him. Demo man, probably my favourite class at the moment. Bar engineer, I run stock iron bomber. I love it. I kind of have a I kind of me look actually. Now that I think about it, I'm not black though. Just to clear up, not there's anything wrong with that. Uh, my professional lock and load, which I occasionally do use, uh, depends on how the game's going, you know, things change. Uh, charge and charge, if I don't feel like I need to spam a sentry out, if I can directly get it. And the half Satoshi, because I like it. And uh, uh, my um, Blapture badge. Here we got my Spartan look with Skillington. I'm, it's basically just stock demo man. It Occasionally I do pull it out just to give it a go. But yeah, and this is my um, this is this isn't actually a samurai specific load loadout. It is actually just my melee one, but I have it samuraied up because I was playing a uh, sujin the other day. Oh, and of course, almost forgot I have the spent well spirit and the obliterated, which is a uh, quite a cool taunt. I do like them. Heavy. Now this one's been really fun. Probably my most played class this week. Uh, I do actually, I, I do, I do run minigun, my epic minigun more than I've run the Natasha. Natasha is just last kind of game, and uh, it's been really fun actually for five CP, uh, especially when scouts are trying to get past you to get to the control point to just kind of back cap and you can stop them with the Natasha, just a bit. So yeah, it's um, it's been really, really fun, and I'm using the holiday punch because Delphi. Uh, I don't like Delphi myself, but um. I pointed out that you can do a lot of, you know, rather than dying, give it give it a go punching in with the holiday punch to get some damage out and see we're well, not damaged, try and see if you can stun them and get the taunt kill. Here's my I'm not taking this game seriously, load up for the heavy. I've been I have a video coming out about the family business, but there's um for some reason I, I recorded my audio in Audacity and I recorded the gameplay and for some reason the gameplay's also picked up my audio, which it wasn't meant to do. I'm quite confused about that one uh so yeah i need to get rid of the bread bites they're basically useless for me now and uh yeah i got kind of a commando look going on here's my chinese gangster kind of thing with the brass beast which unusually i i, I do actually run with the um payload maps when i'm playing payload i'd obviously i still haven't changed my uh, melee over and this guy this guy don't even have melee at all i don't even know what i must have sold something to get rid of it probably Fist of Steel. And uh, yeah, that's just kind of gangster that ain't gangster kind of look. And I don't have any heavy exclusive taunts. So yeah, moving on to the engineer. Now probably my, well, my most played, my most played class. This is my stock loadout. I run this 90% of the time. The 10% of the time I run in this loadout, which I do change every now and then between the Geiger counter and the Kappa, uh, but it depends on how the game's going. Getting the Geiger counter out sometimes can save a game, so I change change out quite a bit. Oh yeah, and my shotgun's hot rod now. That's been um quite a cool effect. Those are the stats because people like to see those sorts of things. And uh, my my loadout doesn't really change all too much. I mean, this is the same loadout. It's just no dueling kit and different layout. <laughs> Uh, this is the Jag loadout. I very rarely use this, although sometimes if we're doing a quick roll, and I'm definitely not going to be engineering at any point, I'll keep this on so I can go and upgrade the teleporter. And here's the Southern Hospitality loadout that I'll probably never use, ever. And I have one exclusive taunt for the NG, and that is the Rancho Relaxo, which is very good. My Medic, now my Medic with a new Unusual I just unboxed. Um, meta Medic, this is what I'm running 90% of the time. I'm going to change that actually for that. That's my newest one. Um, actually, it's a bit silly now, but whatever. Uh, I'll change out quite a bit. I'll go to Crips Krieg, depending on the game. This is a French chef, as you can see. And this is my super edgy cold front loadout, which is just the quick fix variant. I, I, Being honest, I will just change this out to the gun that I require, as opposed to going in here and going, uh, B, okay, load. See, and then sometimes it doesn't work. Uh, and then there's my combat medic, which sometimes I will change this out for the quick fix, depending on how the game's going. Um, but yeah, I need to get an Australian version of that. And I got some, got, got a quite cool fisherman kind of looking thing going right now. 
and uh, I think I might have won taunt for him. Yeah, I got the uh, results for him. Oh, and I got the meet the medic, which is uh, quite cool. Going on to the sniper. Now, this changes cosmetically a lot. Uh, right now, I'm trying out the universal translator to see if I like it enough to buy the unusual version. And currently, the answer is no. Um, but yeah, so it's uh, quite quite a cool look, uh, Korean and my sniper rifle. And uh, I don't know why it was named Korean. I think we voted on it months ago. And uh, yeah, I can't quite remember why we did that. I think it was a comment. Or I spelt something wrong. Uh, so yeah, almost 3k kills. Parts are a bit outdated because I put them on at weird times as I unbox them. Basically the same loadout again. Here with the Huntsman with a kind of youth. You, you need a, you need something covering your face for it to be edgy. No one likes the sniper's face without changes. Um, oh, it's, oh, I bit my tongue then. Made a weird noise. Ooh, ooh. Uh, here's my assassin kind of loadout. Not, not too fond of this myself. I very, very rarely use it. Um, but when I do, it can be fun, especially on a Noculus. Um, here's my kind of hunter kind of looking thing. Don't know why the gun was called Deer Tits when I bought it. I never feel second fiddle on the well racked book again. No idea why it's called that. I, I don't even see. Maybe those are antlers. Never. I've never known. Uh, I will sometimes change up for the SMG. Occasionally. Uh, depends on how many spies are knocking a boot. And I have one exclusive taunt for the uh, for the sniper, and that's the ICU. Spy now. Oh, you're gonna be so disappointed with spy. This is all I run. I I I change the spy so frequently. I quite like this look. I only have the blood banker there to rack it up. I could probably put something cooler on. I like the ninja cow. A very 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 underrated cosmetic. Apart from the fact I don't let you wear hats with it, which I totally get. It look weird anyway because it's a little spike. Um. Big kill's kind of my favourite at the moment. Spy has a gun, obviously. My my uh, my big earner and my big kill. Uh, sorry, I got the names wrong there. Uh, using my server clearing sapper from the uh, the snack attack. Like, and I changed the watches based off the game. You kind of have to with the spy. Uh, same thing, but a little bit more careful. Kind of inspired from a movie with um, oh, Jason Statham in it. I don't know why or where the look comes from, but it's a Jason Statham movie. I don't know where I got it from. I saw that and I made it. And uh, yeah, next one, the Le Changer. I do not use the Dead Ringer anymore. Typical French man, mustache, bowler hat, Frenchman's formals. That's how, how French people dress, clearly. And uh, yeah, I really don't play much spy. Only 910 kills on that. And, ooh, we're not changing it. Uh, yeah, and the last one is just a variant again using the. Uh, apparently, I have a specialized kill streak eternal reward I never knew about, but uh, yeah, I rarely ever use that. That this loadout at all, edgy French man. I use this one more than anything, and uh, I think I got one taunt. Yes, I have the bio life, which is probably one of my favorite taunts. So that's been it for t my TF2 loadout, guys. That's what I kind of play with. Uh, these do change as the year goes on. Uh, based off of nerfs and buffs, which is probably one of the only downsides of TF2. You can love a weapon by the beginning of the year, and then by next year, it's garbage. So, I've been Calibre. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week. Adios.